I'm throwing away this sublimation printer. We do not need it. We have our flash custom transfers. We don't need it anymore. Bye-bye sublimation. Okay, so he did not throw it away. Thank you, babe, for listening to me and not throwing it away. We need it for a video. Today, um, we are showing you the reasons why not to use sublimation uh, and to go with our FCT flash custom transfers. Uh, just real quick, sublimation has so many limitations, millions of limitations, and the technology is just outdated. With our new FCT transfers, new technology, great high resolution images, and zero limitations. So we're gonna go ahead and give you uh, more reasons in detail why not to go with sublimation and to go with all our flash custom transfers. Okay, so the first reason why you should get away from sublimation and go with your fat flash custom transfers is whoop, money, cost, the cost of sublimation versus your flash custom transfers. So this is about Let me get some let me get some money. No, 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 no. What you let me get the money. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay. This is uh I'm just <laughs> so we're going to talk about the cost of sublimation versus flash custom transfers. Obviously, cost of materials, cost of sublimation printer, cost of inks, cost of paper, cost of special garments. There's so much cost that comes with sublimation. With your DTF transfers, you have one cost, which is your transfer sheets. And right now they are $19.99 for 22 by 24. $19.99, that's all you need. Obviously you need a heat press for both, uh, but that is something that just comes along with making a uh, custom apparel business. Everyone needs a heat press. Sublimation printer, this Espen printer cost about, $200. 200 bucks, yeah. Yeah, so that's about an average size. This is for a printer that was converted. This yes. This is not a sublimation printer. Yes. It's a regular ink printer that could convert it into a sublimation printer, which can work too. So about 250 you need special sublimation inks, which are can range uh, 20 to 50 Yeah. Sublimation paper. Ooh, sublimation paper can range, yeah, I guess about 20 to 50, depending on how much you need. Polyester garments, everything is very specific when it comes to sublimation and very pricey and very much millions of limitations. Like I mentioned, DTF does not have any limitations. So when you're doing your sublimation, you need to have a lot of this. You need to have a lot of money because you are going to, it, it, to me, it felt like a money pit. Mm. Like you were just, we were just throwing money, throwing money, throwing money, throwing money. And the limitations, <laughs> the limitations were not worth it because I did have a lot of clients. Hey, I want a black shirt. Can you put this? And I'm like, no, I can't do that. Oh, can I put it on the hoodie? No, it has to be polyester. There were so many limitations with sublimation. So that's kind of reason why we got away from it. With our dark, oh, uh, sorry. With our flash custom transfers, like I said, no limitations, no uh, color restrictions, no garment restrictions. There are no restrictions. All you need is a heat press. Cut it, press it. $19.99. A heat press costs about... 150, you can find a decent one for 150. So if you wanted to start your business today, $150 for your heat press, $19.99 for a sheet. What is that, $170? Yeah. Easy breezy. If you want to start sublimation, you need to have a good $500 to get, to yeah. get started. So it's definitely a very different uh, realm of difficulties and ease. Reason number two, not to choose sublimation over our flash custom transfers. The limitations on printing on a specific garment. Of course, like you know, our sublimation, you have to print on 100% polyester for those colors to pop. 
if you print on cotton, you might not see the colors and then they might fade away. So here is an example of a 100% polyester shirt. We look here. So when doing sublimation, you always have to check, is it 100% polyester? White, so it can show each color. Limitations, limitations. When doing our flash custom transfer, you can use any, any garment, 100% cotton. You can do camo, you can do any of these. Well, what not just the texture of the garment, you can also do polyester as well. You can, you can do yeah. any, any fabric, any, any fabric that you can think of. Let's show those jackets. You can you even sublimate on these jackets? You cannot. Oh, this is okay. Not polyester. Oh, okay. I thought it was. No, this is plastic. This is like A nylon. Yeah. What is it? It's polyester. Yeah, I know. I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same polyester than this. Well, you wouldn't be able to do it because it's black. And it's not. Feel this fabric. It's a. It's like a. It's a like cloth. a breathable, and this especially with like winter right now, you do not want. Especially, guys, with winter right now, nobody wants a breathable fabric. Maybe you do if you're gonna be outside, but you really want something like cotton, right? That, that's really gonna keep you warm, you know what I mean? Like us wearing cotton right now, it's keeping us warm because it's super cold outside, even though we're here in Texas. But yes, trust me, you wanna go with something that is gonna keep you warm, something that feels good. Polyester, I'm not gonna lie, it does feel cheap. It has its purposes, but polyester feels cheap. Now those jackets, we felt better jackets, you know, those are wholesale jackets that we have. They serve a purpose, but they do have higher quality, like the Nike polyester jackets and stuff like that. The Nike windbreakers, they feel really good quality. So we just want to let you guys know that our transfers can be printed on anything. And unfortunately with sublimation, you cannot do that. So there you have it. Reason number two, why you should not choose sublimation over our flash custom transfers. Let's get into number three. Three's. I didn't see you there. Welcome to reason number three, why you should not choose sublimation over our flash custom transfers. All right, so for our SPIN 2720, we wanna get straight into that this printer is not designed for sublimation ink. As we converted it, we thought it was the most amazing thing getting a regular printer and able to convert it into sublimation. We thought we were gonna make all of the sublimation items, all of the money, get everyone's business with our sublimation because you're able to do those full color, um, tr not transfers, full color images on polyester. So we were about to kill the game, you know, converting our SPIN 2720 into a sublimation printer. Come to find out that obviously this printer is not meant for sublimation or they would we would have just bought a sublimation printer but it does wear and tear the ink will eventually dry out if you're not running this machine or this printer 24 7 constantly keeping the ink going and going through the tubes uh it will run out and it will not run out it will run dry um and it will break it will stop um, pushing out certain types of inks things like that uh, we do have some videos dedicated uh to the problems that did happen when we did convert this if you wanted to uh check out how to convert it and how to fix the issue that happens when you convert it. So we've had tons of issues with our uh, SPIN 2720. I just don't recommend it. It will end up being a waste of money, which right now we do use it, but we use it for regular printing. Uh, this is our home office printer. Uh, if we need to print out documents, print out invoices, print out color sheets for our kids, whatever the case may be. We just printed on our Aspen 2720. Uh, we use black ink and it just prints a little lighter, but it's just our everyday printer versus a $35 everyday printer. So this is now our everyday printer. Okay guys, so I just want to jump on camera just to really speak about a few things and a few issues that we really have with this printer. So we have a few videos that have really transitioned both of our YouTubes. She has a video on her YouTube that really got her to the, you know, the 2000 subscribers that she has. And that's how to take the ink, the sublimation ink, 
out of your printer and put it back to regular printer ink. And then I have uh, a video on my channel, over 30,000 views, right? Or maybe even 40,000 that shows you how to convert your printer. Guys, we do not recommend this. We do not recommend purchasing this printer at all. Do not go down the steps that our that ourselves and thousands of other people have done with thinking, wow, I can start doing sublimation and start doing projects and stuff like that for $200 because I can just buy a tank, uh, yeah, a tank fill printer and put sublimation ink in it and then I'm good to go. This is like a, this is like a public service announcement. Do not do that. This is not the printer to do that with. If you want to do sublimation, there's a reason why the difference in cost is about $300. So a, a real sublimation printer is about $300 more than this regular inkjet printer that just happens to have a fill tank in which you can purchase a cheap ink and then put it in there. So again, um, we're shooting these videos because we really want to save the consumer, the person who was just like us about a year and a half ago. We didn't know, right? We didn't know at all. The only, the only person out there who was doing full color transfers was super color and they were out of our price range. So we really wanted to do high definition and high quality full color uh, images. And we were like, well, I guess sublimation is the way to do it. And there's some videos where like you can print sublimation on top of vinyl and you have to buy a special paper and then you can press that in there and it'll accept it. And we tried it all, trust me, we spent thousands of dollars trying it all and we're just making this video to save you time and money and headache. That's really the reason why we're creating this specific section of this video. It's very important to us. And we just want you to know again, that if you do go into this, know that unless you have the clientele to pay for the machine and make it run for a long period of time so that the inks don't dry, if you don't have a system set up, or you know what I mean, then I would not suggest doing it. Just go ahead, stay away from it. Even if you don't buy our full color transfers, right? Even if you don't buy our flash custom transfers, that's fine. But please do not get into this Epson 2720 printer or any tank fill printer and think that you're gonna make a ton of money because you're gonna start doing sublimation. I'm, I promise you, you're gonna lose money. You're gonna have a headache. And again, maybe there are people out there who, who have success with this printer. And if you do, please comment down below about your success, we would love to hear it. As you see, we have our 1300 square foot store and I promise you the money that came for us to be able to purchase a store and you know run our daily operations does not come from sublimation. Most of our money comes from our flash custom transfers. So let's go ahead and get into the last two reasons why you should not buy, purchase, or use sublimation in 2022. Fourth reason not to go with sublimation versus our flash custom transfers is the limitations when printing. When you're using your Espen 2720 sublimation printer, you are limited to only printing images the size of a piece of paper, which is eight by 11. Tiny, tiny, look at that on the black, tiny images. So whatever you want would have to be uh-oh, flip, flip the sheets 2020, babe. 2022, what you mean 2022? Oh, yeah. <laughs> flip the sheets 2022. If you do not know about our flip the sheets video, please check that out. And we uh, give you step by step on how to flip your 22 by 24 sheets for profit. So. And just let them know, it's not just this sublimation printer, which isn't even a real sublimation printer. It also applies to most sublimation printers. Most sublimation printers, unless you buy the big old thousands and thousands of dollar one. But this is the size of paper on a shirt. How big you can get, depending on the size. If you did want to do a bigger, um, a bigger image, you would have to print in sections. So you can take, let's say four, if you wanted to create a big old image, you would have to print in sections, part of it here, and then, uh, what is it, tape them all together, and then press in sections. So much drama, so many limitations. And you couldn't even do it on a blue shirt. No, this is you a cannot do it on a blue shirt. It would have to be 100% polyester shirt, or blanket, or pillow, whatever the case you may be. So I'm gonna show you our flash custom transfers. This is as big as you can go with the flash. Hold it up. 
with our flash custom transfers. This is 22 by 24, which is one big sheet. So he got one big logo to fill up his whole sheet. Uh, shout out to Squeezed Up. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram and Facebook. He makes homemade delicious lemonade. The best. So, the best the lemonade. Best. <laughs> so shout out to him. This is going on one of his banners for his table whenever he goes to events. So we went ahead and uh, printed this and we're gonna press it on his banner. And you cannot do that with sublimation. Sublimation could never. There'd have to be a white all polyester banner. And again, but you're not gonna get this size unless you ever print it or print that size. So look and also look at these. Yes, these are big as well. This is how many he was able to get on his 22 by 24. For look how big that for is. For 20 bucks. So this is how it's gonna look on my shirt. So big, so bold. So that's so four shirts, right? Four shirts, mm -hmm. Yep, four so shirts, $20. gang sheets for 20 bucks. And he does have a heat press and his own shirt, so he yes. will be pressing these uh, by himself. And this is another one. This is just, I wanted to compare this to a sheet of paper on how much more room. We can just get so many Look how beautiful she is, that detailed, that color pop, everything. Amazing, amazing work. Here it is, our Flash Custom Transfers on a black t-shirt with sublimation. You can never achieve this look, achieve this. Feel. Feel, like I don't even know. Sublimation, the ink goes straight into the shirt so it doesn't feel like anything. But again, you have to have polyester. So that is another important reason when you're creating custom apparel, um, when you have a custom apparel business, you don't want to have limitations because trust me, I've been doing this for about a year and a half and I've gotten every which kind of question, which kind of custom apparel, which kind of design, which kind of request have been crazy. And trust me, when I did have sublimation, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't, I had so many limitations. It was kind of embarrassing because I was like, oh, I can't do that on black. Oh, I can't do that on blue. I'm sorry, navy blue is not, it has to be white. And it just was like, it was embarrassing, the limitations. Now that we have flash custom transfer, zero limitations. I can print anything, any time of the day, how big you need it, which this is pretty big. This is the first time someone has asked for something this big. So I'm kind of excited about that. If you have any questions, any more questions about sublimation or our fast flash custom transfers, please contact us at fcdvinylandapparel.com or you can comment down below. So let's go get into our last and final reason why you should stay away from sublimation versus our flash custom transfers. Let's go. When you was looking? Mm-hmm. Okay guys, so we are here for the final reason why you should not purchase, not get into sublimation. There's really no reason, with all the other technologies out, right, there are really no other reasons to get into sublimation. Unless you're gonna do like a full shirt, right? You gotta kinda, there's like a new wave of like shirts where it's like the whole thing is printed. Again, you're not gonna be able to do that with this type of printer, right? You're gonna need something that can you know, print an entire huge large sheet and uh, can press that onto a 100% white polyester shirt. So unless you're getting jobs like that, there's really no financial reason to purchase a sublimation printer. So our final reason why you shouldn't is because of business. It, it's not smart financially to do it. And my wife, she can touch on some reasons why also, but it's just not a financially smart business decision to do it. Now, again, if you are doing mugs, right? What are they called? Tumblers. Tumblers. If you're doing tumblers, then maybe this printer is for you, right? If you're doing that, that might make sense financially wise. If you're mm -hmm. doing tumblers and mugs and other things like that, little small pieces of uh, items. Keychains. Keychains. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Give us some. Uh, oh, just like keychains, mouse pads, mugs. Okay. Um, what else is there? There's all kinds of just little, like, oh, bands, like uh, iPhone watch bands. Really? You can sublimate. There's, you can pretty much any, uh, what is it? 
Any material? Accessory. You Accessory. can do ear, earrings, necklaces, things like that. This will be great for you if you're in the small crafting community and just like to do it as a hobby. Fantastic. As a business, I don't recommend it. It's not profitable. It's not the route that you want to go if you're looking to make money in your business, which everybody right. is. <laughs> exactly. It's just too much headache, too much to keep up with too much maintenance, too much specific, too much limitations. Yeah, too I many love limitations. That word limitations because now that we are free with zero limitations, it's just it's a whole it's a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, she's right with the with the amount of limitations that sublimation does have. Obviously, it does have some I guess positives that you can use, she and my wife just touched on all the things in which you can use either a full-blown sublimation printer or even a converted machine like this right here in which you can make money. But in the apparel world, in the world that we live in, and 90% of you guys out there and ladies, 90% of the people out there that are watching this video are looking to get into apparel because you can scale it higher. Everybody on Etsy, from Etsy to Facebook to Instagram, YouTube as well, is doing tumblers and all these keychains stuff like that and really china really has that really you know on lock with the amount of things that you can get done and stuff like that so yeah babe so you know and let them know out of all the things that we've been asked you know can you do screen printing obviously we don't advertise screen printing or anything like that but just you know touch on at a, about the year and a half because you answer all the emails and a lot of phone calls and stuff like that and you do you really handle all that advertising how many times have you been asked about a sublimation product or something like that? Not very often. People come and they ask, can I have this full color image put on a shirt? And that's something that I could or couldn't do. Most of the time cannot do because at that time I was only working with vinyl and then our sublimation. So I was like, okay, you know, we have vinyl. We will do full color images with our sublimation machine, not realizing the limitations that it had. So with substituting the sublimation, I would use dark transfer paper, but I would also let them know, hey, this is not a long-term shirt. I can do dark transfer paper if you need a quick shirt, but this is not what I would recommend. A lot of people were like, yes, please just do it. I just need it for a quick five-year-old birthday. Give me what I need and be done. If you want sublimation, it has to be on polyester. People were not pleased with just having white shirts. Not a lot of people want to wear white shirts because it gets dirty, yes. things like that. They want to differ. So I did lose out on um, some businesses because I was not able to deliver what they were asking until we found our flash custom transfers. No limitations. We can do anything, any type of, <clears throat> excuse me. Any type of image that you ask for, we can do it, no matter how big, how small. Uh, it's just a game changer for for our business and hopefully for yours as well. Yeah, and the point of the point of making this business this business section uh, so so vast, like in uh, really articulating our point. There's there's really no way as we look outside as our you know people walk by our store that's that right there is really the the ultimate goal right we started our business a little over a year ago from our house and then we transitioned to this huge 1300 square foot store we and honestly we really have more room than we could use right so we have to find reasons to put you know to to really utilize the space but that's a good thing right you always you know if you have excess that's good you can find things to put it in there versus not having it so with that being said there's just no way that we could have built that with this machine or even if we did have a large sublimation machine there's really just no way that we could have built this business based off of that and what's great what's like great and kind of funny at the same time is when we we have a video on our channel shaded content channel of us unboxing this machine <laughs> the heat press and everything and everything else we still have and makes us a ton of money everything from the heat press to the, the weeding tools the weeding tools the cricket the cricket the cricket makes a lot of money the mats everything the mats everything this is the only thing that doesn't make us money and we don't want you to look to see our video and think, wow, I need to get that sublimation mach machine. Or you already have it and then you come across one of our videos and you're like, hey, I need to convert my, my printer because I saw somebody else um, have this printer. And then I'm like, uh, 
let me go ahead and buy this printer and then let me find straight of the contents video on how to convert it. He has 40,000 views. Let me convert it over to sublimation. Let me go on there and click the links to Amazon and purchase the inks and then purchase the paper. And now I'm invested about three, $400 into this printer and I don't have any orders or the orders that I do have aren't enough to, uh, uh, aren't enough to repay for the printer, you know, your ROI, your return on investment. As we have this store, that's what everything is about, especially in 2022, return on investment. I don't want to be long winded here and you can chime in at any time. Return on investment is really what's very important. If you're just doing this to make mugs, to make things for your family, for your kids, by all means, the Epson 2720 is the best way to go. There's really no reason to purchase a, a large machine. If you want if you see this and you're still like, no, I still want to get into sublimation. I love it. I'm doing crazy mugs. I'm doing 500 mugs a month on Etsy. Yeah, then you probably need a professional sublimation printer. Or if you've got orders like that, don't go with this cheap one. But all in all, to really end this, unless my wife wants to say anything. No, got your You know what I mean? Unless, you know, we both agree through our experience, and hopefully we can share this with you and you guys really take this video, you know, we, we're kind of silly, but we really want you to know that this just is an old technology. We're probably going to look forward and there's going to be a new way to make the sublimation type shirt so that the ink is in the garment. DTG can do it because you can just put it in there and it can print right to it. That really is the, is a, but those machines are really expensive. So maybe one day those machines, direct to garment machines will get cheap enough if until that happens, the best way to put a full color transfer on a garment is with our sheets. Flash we, custom transfers. Flash custom transfers. Mm -hmm. Our only competitor out there in the world is super color. And even they are not able to do the scale, the sizing, and the price. You notice on their website, they have certain sizes and the biggest size that they're able to go up, up to isn't bigger than our sheets. Is that correct? Mm, sounds about right. It sounds about, yeah, you know what I mean? Remember the and don't forget, we can go long too. Not only can we go wide, we can go long. As you guys seen some of our videos, or if you haven't, we have the longest sheets, you know, a 34 foot sheet, right? A 25 foot long sheet and a 34 foot sheet. We can go very long. And if your image just happens to be that long, say you wanted a banner, say you wanted Dollar Tree anniversary, <laughs> da, da da da. You want that all of that printed out because you're going to print it on like a long piece of cloth. We can do that. We don't put you in a box square. We do put you in a box square, twenty two by twenty four. But <laughs> you get gang sheet and stuff like that. And again, there's really no competition. So I'm going to end this video with that, just to let you guys know, our flash custom transfers are really the future. Printing on the film and then all you are required to have is just a heat press that's it that's all you need is just a heat press a pair of scissors you buy our transfers cut them out place them on the garment press it that's it that's really it simplicity heat press in a dream heat press in a dream and we want you guys to <laughs> flip them sheets flip them in your dreams flip them during the day again check out the video on flip your sheets and how you can turn our sheets into a full-blown business and make a lot of money Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. We hope that you appreciate the comedy in it, but hopefully you take something out of this and really learn something and really stay away from this. I'm going to go throw this in the trash no, now. No, you're so. not. <laughs> I need it for a home office. For a home office, yeah, because the ink is cheap. So <laughs> yeah. thanks, guys. Make sure you guys check out all our other videos. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if, if this video is valuable to you in your life. And uh, stay tuned for all of our other content. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Okay. <laughs> like a little dinosaur.